Hello everyone and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Nuke and today we're going to discover a newly released model by Meta called Code Llama, which is based, as you can guess from the name, on the family of large language models, Llama, widely used by those who usually want to create a homemade chat GPT, or even by those who don't want to rely on an online hosted LLM, preferring one locally. And if correctly fine-tuned as possible, that is able to partially replace even the GitHub Copilot, which is still today the best development assistant powered by AI. You can use it to write simple programs, complete scripts, convert code from one language to another, and many other things. First of all, we will need our model. Since I don't want to use the base model, uh, because it requires too much VRAM, I opted for the 4-bit quantized model downloadable from the repository of the legendary de Bloke. You can find the link in the description. You can also choose models with higher precision, uh, like the 8-bit ones, but usually the 4 or 4.1-bit ones work just fine. Models quantized in this way have the ability to be run without the need for a GPU. Of course, it's still better to have one um, so that inference is fast and we don't have to wait ages for a response to be generated. There are also many types of quantized models and I chose the model in the new GGUF format uh, introduced this month by the authors of Lama.cpp. Uh, um, I also chose the model called CodeWama 13B instruct, as it appears to be the most balanced one, according to the screenshot on the official project page. Now, if, like me, you're just curious to try the model with single queries without the need for chatting, you can use the workflow we created in the last video, where we use ComfyUI to interact with various models. Place the downloaded model in the GPT checkpoints directory and load the workflow. Let's simply get rid of the image generation part and remove this string function. Uh, please remember also to put the cached option to no. Reading on the bloke's repository, it seems necessary to adjust the syntax with which we interact with the model. Simply place this code in the prefix. and this other one in the suffix, and then select the correct model and try querying it. Let's try generating a simple Python code for a hello world and see what happens. It seems quite responsive. Let's try converting this code to C and Python code and see if it generates valid code. Great. Now I'd like to show you one of my favorite interfaces for interacting with LM models. It's called Text Generation Web UI by UbaBuda. And to install it, simply download the, the zip file from the GitHub repository and extract the archive 
to a convenient location and run start windows.bat. This process is similar for non-Windows operating systems as well. Now wait for the automatic installation to finish and place the model in the folder Obubuga Windows Text Generation Web UI Models. Now go to this address or simply press Control and click on the link in the console. The main screen of the web UI will open and go to the model section. Click on refresh here and select the model in question. Now set the parameters in this way, being careful to adjust the GPU layers based on how much VRAM you have and what to use. Setting them to zero will allow you to use this model only with the CPU. As I mentioned earlier, uh, finally press load to load the model. And in this case, I will not change any other options except for the NAX new tokens located here. Uh, this will indicate the length of the model response. Then go to chat and try querying our model in a similar way as before with the difference that here we can potentially chat and use the generated context to request modifications or other interactions with the previous code. Let's try. And that's all for today. I hope this tutorial helped you in case you is searching a model to replace ChatGPT for coding or simply to satisfy your curiosity. In my opinion, the 13 billion one is not bad, but we are not quite there yet. The 34 billion is probably better, but it continues to be too resource intensive for the general public. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this tutorial useful. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And until next time, keep dreaming. <laughs>